So this is just a quick demo and walkthrough of the DSLR controller app for Android. Um, so you can see uh, this is the page in the Play Store and I believe it's $7.99 uh, and it is still in beta form but uh, again once you download it once uh, you're good on all of your other Android devices. So um, quickly just what you need uh, to make this work is uh, I'm an Android, obviously, uh, this is the Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, I've also got a uh, Galaxy Nexus uh, that I'll work on, and I'll show you both um, real quickly. But um, also what you need is a Canon uh, DSLR camera. Um, and here's the other thing that you need. This is a USB to go cable. Uh, they are super cheap, and uh, I found it on Amazon uh, for about a dollar twenty-nine. Uh, so they're super cheap and uh, very useful, and um, you have to have one to make this app work. And a lot of times these cables are proprietary to the type of device you have, um, so it's not a uh, you know one size fits all for this cable. So if you look up on Amazon, um, just search for a USB to go cable and then put in your phone or tablet model and uh, it'll come up. So you need this for sure. And then lastly, I have just the regular USB cable that came with the camera. Uh, I've actually got an extension on there just uh, for our purposes, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to the tablet and then onto the camera and I will show you the software. So once you have your camera plugged in and the app up, it is a very simple layout, you can see. Um, along the bottom row, you have your exposure time, you have your f-stop or your aperture, uh, you have your ISO settings, and if you tap on any of them, it just brings up a really simple menu. It's any menu that's basically in your camera. Along the left side here, you can see the M is because I have the camera in manual mode. Um, it says MF here because the lens is in manual focus. And if I switch that to autofocus, um, a little square will come up on the screen that will let me tap to focus on the actual image. It's, it works pretty well, but here I'll see if I could get it to work. So there you go. Um, so now I can tap anywhere to focus, and it will refocus before it shoots. Of course, I've got my wide angle lens on, so. Um, it's not particularly useful in this case, but uh, it does work. And when you switch the uh, lens back to manual focus, you'll see the box will go away. Just like that. Um, it's a very simple layout, so there's not much to learn. Um, it's Like I said, it's any kind of menu that you would find on the back of your camera anyway. So as long as you're familiar with your camera, it should be pretty simple to figure out. You can go into the settings menu here and it brings up all kinds of different uh, options you can set. Uh, there is uh, image review, so you can look at all the photos that you have in your camera right there on your uh, tablet. Um, there is a timed bulb shot, so you can you know, set a 10 second uh, timer or whatever you need to do. Uh, there is an HDR auto exposure bracketing feature, which of course, if anyone knows me, knows that I will not use. Um, there is also a time lapse mode that is really cool. You can go in and uh, set your duration. If you want to shoot images over, say, one hour, you can do that. Or you can uh, set uh, the time to be for as many images as you want. So you can say, uh, I want to take 125 images. So it'll be really good for star trails. Um, I won't have to lug my laptop out anymore. And then there's a couple other menus down here, uh, or options that are not available yet, but you can see it's stuff they're working on. So, for example, one of them is configuration camera image format and quality. So, unfortunately, from the app right now, if you wanted to change from shooting JPEGs to shooting RAW, you still have to manually go and do that on the camera, but it is something it looks like they are working on, so that's really cool. There's also, uh, lastly, something that intrigues me, um, is an option for video format and quality, which, again, is not available yet on the app, uh, but it is something they're working on, so I will be uh, really anxious to see what they're going to do with that. So that is just the basic settings menu. Gives you a lot of options. 
if you go back to just the regular generic uh, preview screen, um, take the shot. Obviously, I'll set my exposure a little shorter. Do half a second. Oh, and it shows you what it will look like when you uh, change the settings. So that's really cool. So there we go. That is a quarter of a second. So it takes the shot. Then pulls up another screen here uh, that will show you the uh, image and will give you options. You can go in and uh, with this button here, you can actually go in and change some of the settings of the photo. I haven't found it to be particularly useful. Um, I would think that if you were going to edit photos, you would probably just go do that in Photoshop. But the options there if you need it. So that is uh, the app. It's very simple. It's very useful. Um, I can't wait to get it out in the field, especially for uh, some star trails or just other photography. I think it'll be very useful. So if you have an Android device running 2.3 or higher and you have a Canon DSLR, uh, it is a great uh, app to have. It's a no-brainer and it looks like they're only going to be improving it. I have had a couple instances where it's uh, crashed on me uh, and again it is in beta so I expect that. but. Um, 99.9% .9 of the time it's been very stable and I'm very happy with it. So uh, I believe I read somewhere that the company is eventually going to work on a Nikon version of the app. Um, seeing as the Canon version is still in beta, I would guess that that's probably going to be a ways away. Um, also, uh, the, there is not an iOS version of this. So um, Apple users are kind of out of luck. I'm not sure if there's similar programs that you can get for iOS, but um, this is Android only for now. So that is the simple walkthrough. Uh, it's very easy and very good. So you should definitely pick it up if you have a combination of Android and Canon.